Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Rowdy. Uh, we're here at Brockton High today. We're going to be talking about stenciling some COVID masks so you guys can customize your own cool masks at home or at school. Stretch out this mask here. Just going to want to get all this tape around the outside where we aren't putting any paint just so we know that it's all stretched out. Okay, so now that we have our mask all taped up, we're gonna take our base stencil. And if you need to reposition your mask at all, now would be a good time while you're putting the stencil down and get it as flat as possible as the mask, just like we did before. We're gonna tape that down so it doesn't move and we have a nice clear space. To now that we have our base stencil secured to the mask, we can start putting some paint down. You wanna make sure that you're getting nice, even long strokes so that you're not getting too much paint in any of these areas, especially around the edge of the stencil here. You wanna get as cleanly around there as possible. And uh, one thing that I do if I'm using brushes for stencils, when I'm applying paint to stencils this way, I like to sort of go over the edge of the stencil and drag the paint down so that I have a clean line right at the edge of my stencil. Now that I have all this paint packed into the mask here, we're gonna to wanna to dry this off. So now that we got our first layer on our two layer stencil down and it's dry, we can remove the first layer. We can add the second layer on top of that. So now what I wanna do is I wanna slim this down a little bit so I can tape it down and get our details. When you're cutting two layer stencils or stencils with more detail, you're gonna to wanna to add in bridges to your detail layers. And bridges are these little connectors here that keep the paper where you want it. Uh, over here, one of my bridges is miraculously gone now, so I'm gonna rebuild the bridge and show you guys how to do that. Basically, I'm using a piece of painter's tape. It's easy to remove, it's easy to work with. Place down a piece of tape. I don't want all this tape in here though, so I'm gonna recreate my bridge and then cut away the excess tape. Here we go. Prepared my bridge, and now we have a safe structure to work with. It's not gonna fall apart when we tape it down. Basically, I'm just trying to make sure that my stencils line up and get it exactly where I want my details, and then I tape it down. I was originally gonna use the smaller bristle brush for this layer, but I think I might just use the foam brush. It's, it seems like it might be a little bit easier. Like I said before, you're gonna to wanna to start at the edge of your paint, pull the paint out away from the glob. I'm just gonna to wanna to make sure that I'm holding down the section with my finger that I'm applying the paint to so that I can get a nice, even application through the stencil. Just making sure that I'm going over these areas multiple times uh, so I can pack in a good amount of paint so that I'm left with a nice image. If I pull the stencil up, I'm gonna hit it with the dryer again. Now that the paint is dry, magically, with the hair dryer, we're gonna remove the stencil and reveal our amazing image. I hope you are as excited as I am. And there you have it. Baseball. Two layer stencil, ready to go. Just make sure you're being creative. You can do any design that you want. I mean, I did a baseball, but you guys can draw anything you want. Get creative, show who you are, you know? Awesome, that came out really well. Okay. Moving right along, now that we've gotten our two layer stencil done, uh, we're gonna talk a little bit more about a more simple procedure. This is a one layer stencil. This is just a simple one color design that you can put down really quickly and that'll give your mask some cool flair. Before I bring the mask back out though, I just wanna show you guys how I cut these stencils. This is called an X-Acto knife. It's a very sharp knife. You wanna be super careful when you're using it. I basically just freehanded this image here, and now I'm gonna cut all the black away. So, another thing I just wanted to mention really quick, while you're cutting the stencil, and you have the knife to the paper, you don't wanna make the corners with your knife. You wanna move the paper underneath your knife in a way that's gonna give you the corners that you're looking for. Because if you try and maneuver this knife around too much inside of the paper, it can veer off and you might get cuts that you're not really looking for. Your best option is to just plant the knife really well into the paper and then slide that around when you need to move it. 
There you have it. This is our one layer stencil. Cut away as much of this excess paper as I can just so I have a better application of the actual stencil. If you get any excess paint on your stencil, like say if I got, I got paint on the back of my stencil here, don't worry about it. Just make sure that you get that paint off if it's not the color that you're looking to put onto your mask. All right, now let's grab our mask. And again, before you guys put anything down on this, you wanna make sure that you tape it down really well. While I'm pushing this down, I am applying a fairly good amount of pressure because I wanna get this hard stock as close to the mask as possible. I cannot say that enough. So for this particular one color stencil, we're gonna be using this foam brush. So when I'm applying the paint to the brush, I'm putting the brush to the right to the edge of the paint and I'm pulling it back so that I can get a nice, even coat of paint. And I don't have too much anywhere on here that I don't want it. These brushes here are gonna act just sort of like a stamp. Just get that right in there, nice and evenly. And again, just to get right up to the edge of the lines, you can go over the image a little bit and sort of press towards the outside of your stencil here. And that'll get your paint right up to the line where you want it. And at this point too, if you wanted to add some different colors to your stencil, if you wanted, you know, one layer stencil, but you can add multiple colors to your stencil. If you wanted to make different colored petals or you wanted to make the stem different color, you could do that too just by adding different colors now. Once I'm happy with the application of the color, I can just jump right into drying the, the paint. We'll be good to go. So today we talked a lot about stencils and painting on these maps, but I just wanted to show you guys something really quick. You don't need a ton of supplies. You could get regular Sharpies or any type of markers. This here is a paint marker. These are very good. Anything you can use is, is cool, but the biggest point is to just express yourself, write your name on here. You could use, you know, say you speak a different language. You could write anything you want in your language on here. Get out there, put yourself on your mask, so even though you're covering your mouth, you can still use your voice and show exactly who you are. Thank you guys for joining me. My name is Rowdy. I had an amazing time today. I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Have fun.